Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I'm going to show you how to upload large file size in ASP.NET Core. So this is the simple example. Uh, in this video tutorial, I'm going to add large file size in, uh, in ASP.NET Core. So first of all, create a model that is video. You know that a video file have, uh, have some uh, more content, so uh, lots of size. And you can say that uh, this is the ID and the video URL and the video title, first of all, take in uh, as a model. Also create a view model for your video file. And you can say that uh, the default uh, size to upload any images, any file in ASP.NET Core or any other application uh, without any restriction and without any modifications. So you can upload only 4 MB images, 4 MB files in your, in your browse file. But if you want to increase the size of the file upload control and you want to save uh, the file or upload any file uh, which is larger than the 4 MB, then you can do this uh, uh, do this uh, procedure which is I doing in uh, uh, in this video. So here we have a view model, video view model, ID, video title, and iPhone file, a video URL. Okay. So here you can see that the connection string that is the application DB con context connection and just change the database that is demo DB. Okay, so everything you know about all the CRUD operations. Uh, in ASP.NET Core and easily you can do uh, upload any image file in ASP.NET Core. There is a lots of video available on your internet but uh, uh, if you search upload image in uh, ASP.NET Core which is the larger file which is greater than 4 MB then you can uh, then you can choose and you can pick this uh, video uh, YouTube video which is uh, better than uh, other videos because uh, I explain all these things which is uh, uh, in ASP.NET Core that is used in uh, in this video. So here we have a connection string and uh, by using the connection string just configure that connection string in uh, program.cs file and uh, also create a connections and here we have a uh, controller and HTTP get for the create action method and in the create action method first of all reference the uh, view model that is vm equals to new video controller so here you can see that the uh, video uh, view model and uh, just pass that video view model that is empty view model and uh, you can say that this is the structure only you can you just you have to create it when we click on the submit button, then you will see that a null value will be passed because a, a large file will be picked in this video. So uh, I mean to say that a video file which is larger than the uh, 4 MB that is the default size. Uh, but if you pick a larger file like uh, exceeded the 4 MB and uh, you will see that some changes in your uh, and you will pass for a uh, null value in the whole model. Wait for some times and you will see some differences. Okay, so uh, this is the uh, generated scaffold generated CSSTML file create.cshtml and id is not required for uh, the cshtml file so iphone file just convert it uh, in the cshtml file so here asp4 that is a video url video url and video url also some changes in the form that is anc type multi-part form data as well as method is post just i want to uh, send the informations in the post method So, 
when we click on the submit button that form will be submitted uh, to the post action method and here you can see that uh, uh, some uh, changes you have to done it So, so here we have a toolbox and you will see that uh, I have already uh, I have already added a uh, upload image file code in as a code snippet uh, in the toolbox so there is the two uh, image upload uh, image upload code like a vm dot image url just replace the image url with your video url so just copy that code and uh, paste it here and also paste it here and also some changes uh, like uh, just i want to take all the images folder instead of images slice employees and you have to create iweb host environment to to pick the path of any file and the default web root uh, path i mean to say that you have to uh, locate ww root folder so upload directory and then file name so uh, just remove the wait key keyword because there is a no asynchronous call so video url dot copy to async and new file stream yeah, with the path and file mode is create and the model dot image url so just add a new model that, that means of video model and in which you can take video file and the video url so just have to add a new uh, model Okay, so the next thing is you can see that is uh, already there and the video uh, model dot video URL also add this model into the database table and make some changes in the context. So that is. Okay, and uh, so this is the thing you can do. So here we have you can see and test your code. Oops, because home is not there to create actually uh, the controller name is videos and you will see that uh, the default is so the default is and woka woka sakira so just I want to pick it and mp4 and just create 
and you will see that uh, object reference not set to instance object i mean to say that vm is null because the file size is too large so stop this thing and uh, increase the size in your program.cs file by using the configure method so add for the castle server that is builder dot services dot configure dot uh, configure dot castle server option option dot limit dot mast max request body size is hundred mb so you you can just upload hundred mb content size builder dot if you want to add uh, for the iir server options just you can uh, increase the max request body size is actually i server have not limits uh, key uh, property so just remove and options dot mast max request body size is the same 100 mb for your castle and for your i server and you can see that your your upload size will increase and you can upload uh, 100 mb until 100 mb file size and your uh, Sakira song have 40 MB, 39 MB uh, approx. So just upload very well. That is uploaded already. So there is the second time to upload in uh, in this video. So here we have two files because I already added previous one. Okay, so we'll just leave it and you can see the upload folder where your uh, polyword sakura have already there two files because i have i have done in it in two uh, times so thank you very much for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to sp.net code